Hello, this is Shade QB of Paradox Fox, and in this video I'm going to tell you how to fight the fifth boss of Dragon Quest Heroes, the Stone Guardian. After two fights against multiple bosses, we have a fight against a single boss, and it's a fairly simple fight all in all. The Guardian moves around by hopping, there is a slight delay in between hops, so bear, in mind that, bear that in mind when try, trying to land your attacks. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. The boss's basic attack is to try and stamp on you. If you try and attack it from behind, it may try and fall on you, so I don't recommend doing that. It can perform a jumping slam attack that not only damages anyone under or directly next to it, but causes a large shockwave that staggers anyone who gets caught in it. Although the range of the shockwave works against the boss, as if you do get staggered, the boss is unlikely to land any hits on you. I believe you can dodge the shockwave by jumping, but if you do so, be careful not to jump into the boss, as you will take damage if you do. The boss can also guard, during which time I recommend waiting until it's finished guarding before attacking, rather than trying to attack. As if, even if you do get through the guard, you will deal greatly reduced damage. And it can also summon minions in the form of mud men and skeleton soldiers. If you get a chance, try and get a mud man medal so you can slow down the boss with it. But don't bother, bother getting a skeleton soldier medal, unless you happen to get one anyway, as they aren't very useful. Now this fight does have a gimmick in that you must protect a dwarven duo as they run around the edge of the battlefield. They will pause to catch their breath every now and again, giving the Guardian a chance to catch up and hammer them. To stop this from happening, you have to attack the Guardian enough to send it into a rage, which causes it to focus on you instead of them for a while. Note that its attack and defence do increase slightly during this time, so keep your guard up. Well, I've talked a lot about everyone else in this fight, so it's on to your actions. First to prepare, I recommend that you unlock Doric's Vim Vimstone spell, and bring, hi bring him into the fight as well as upgrading your high tension level via, via the side quest that you, can that you unlock during this chapter of the story. Any tension related skill is also helpful. Now as you might have guessed, you want to enter high tension mode as often as, and as fast as possible during this fight. This will not only let you launch an onslaught of attacks without fear, but will, let you, but will help you deal with the Guardian's high defense stat. When attacking, I suggest using Flame Slash at close range and Inferno Slash to attack from a distance. Or Aurora's equivalent of those attacks if you're using her. I've talked a lot, it's on to the fight. Round and round the wheel goes. Here we go. As you can see the Dwarven Jura running around the edge of the map and the Guardian heading after them, which we don't want. I'm not going to have Dora use his Bimstone spell yet. Oh, it's targeting us now. Ouch. Strange, I'm not taking damage. Yes, Mr. I remember taking a lot last time I tried this. Aurora's equivalents are Frost Slash and Cold Fission. It's blocking now, as you can see. And it's summoned monsters. I probably should mention or I forget again. The boss can be stunned, and when it does so, it is stunned, it adopts a kneeling posture. It should be able to how about that happened here really easy. Let's use Doric for a while, even though he seems to do less damage against this boss. Bit of battering the minions. And we have a Mudman medal, which is what I was after. Oh dear, it's caught up to the dwarves, that's not good. See if we manage to catch it in it. Bimstone and start building up tank. But you can see without tension it takes quite a while to defeat. What one of the reasons I use flame slash because it hit twice, so I've been staggered here. Ow. I'm gonna pull back a moment. Flame slash. Uh, we must be 
That probably wasn't smart of me. Yeah, I used Inferno Smash just to hit it even though I couldn't get where the port up to it. Boss does move slightly faster than the Dwarven Duo, but slightly slower than you. So you can catch up to him while hopping away. Well, I believe you've already seen that. Sorry, my memory isn't that great. I've been staggered here, but I'm mostly out of range. Here we go. I might have to use the Vimstone again in a moment. I'm in high tension state, which means I'll do more damage. As you can see, my high tension level is 20 rather than 5, but I did the side quest. Use the leash attack after attack. Appears to be frozen somehow. Perhaps it was stunned. Well, I haven't seen it, didn't look like that when I stunned it before. So 800 damage, so around 300, as you can see, it's very effective. I believe it is stunned. was stunned. Don't. We've got a skeleton soldier, which isn't going to be very helpful. Partly because we're on the constantly on the move, rather than staying in one place. Managed to catch itself on the corner. Staggered again, but I'm pretty much ignored at this point. In the fight. Now it's going close. On there. Sorry, someone thought it was a good idea to put my Skype. Or send me a message on Skype, rather. Put me on Skype, rather. I need to remember to warn them when I'm recording. Need air recovery again. I'm getting thrown around a lot today. Got a critical hit. Inferno slash to clear out the minions. Hopefully get some Mudman coins. Fell on me as you see. If you're attacking from behind it will do that a lot. Some of the skeleton soldiers wise after me. I'll get how Doric uses Bimstone again. Sadly, his AI does not use it very often. I may have already mentioned that. I'm not sure. No, nope, really bad didn't give me anything. Boss is almost down. Regardless. I recommend attack attacking the minions more than I did here to build up the tension faster. Especially if you can get the boss's attention while you're near them. Time for a finishing blow. There we go. As you can see, a Sun Guardian has been defeated. I've been Shade QB of Paradox Fox, and I hope this video has helped with you. I'll see you next time. Next time. <laughs>